because Stephen has sickle cell disease. I, I, I'm afraid to talk about it. When you cry and scream for help, then they will give you morphine. This one is 4,000 CDs per day. Yeah. Somebody just hit our mirror. Some coconut. The coconut is for Kaylee, but I'm gonna take a zip to see if it's not poisonous. <laughs> so today is gonna be a good day. What are we doing today? We're gonna have a good day. What are we doing today? <laughs> oh, what we are doing? We've been trying to. Be what are happy. you searching for? I'm trying to order my uh, bag because. I'm the organizer, that's what people call me. And something is needed. I don't need to be searching. Oh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Because some people in life are like that. Yes, but people like that find people like you. <laughs> and that's why it's a great team. They anyway. Could be like, you could be like, like a pimp, you know? They will say sweet things. And <laughs> but I mean the sweet things that I say. A pimp also. <laughs> a pimp anyway, pimp. tell the people what we're gonna do because you're talking for two minutes already. So today, we're gonna visit all the hospitals in Ghana. And then we're gonna search for which of those can supply what we are demanding. Okay, and why do we need spe a specific hospital? I, I, I'm afraid to talk about it. <laughs> this is too close. No, it's very far. No, do it like <laughs> Put it against your ear. Oh, okay, like Let this. Me, okay. Maybe I should make a selfie video. Yeah, like this. This is perfect. Because Stephen has sickle cell disease, that means that his uh, red blood cells, they aren't shaped like circles, but they're in shape like, like the moon, when it's like a half moon, it's like a sickle. That's how they are shaped. It's already getting hot, I'm sweating. Because we're staying here for longer, so we need to find a good hospital that specializes in sickle cell disease. Because in the Netherlands, but also here, not all hospitals specialize in the treatment. In case he gets a crisis, then we know what hospital to go to, instead of then having to find out and maybe end up at a hospital that doesn't know how to treat it. Hopefully we can take you guys around a little bit inside the hospital, but I don't think we will be allowed to film there. So let's see how far we can get with this content today. Steve is asking a nurse because we cannot find the entrance. So far, what are your thoughts? Sometimes if you see a lot of sick people, mm -hmm. you even feel sick. Exactly. So and that, it, it just felt really depressing seeing all the people just sitting. The people were just waiting. Yes. They, they didn't seem to be uh, rushed in it and they're helping. Yes. I, I can just imagine that you're then there with your pain yeah. and then and having then to wait to there wait. for one or two hours. Yes. Just, yeah. With pain. With so pain. Let's see. Let's see how the sickle cell department is. Yes. That sounded good at the clinic. Yeah. Except for the fact that they close every day at two. So if you get a crisis after two, yeah. then you get taken into the general hospital. Yeah, and there they don't have your, your information. information. So, so they might yeah. treat you completely different. different what you want and to. we've had that experience even in the Netherlands, mm. that you go into a non-specialized hospital. Mm -hmm. And that was a very, very bad experience. Mm -hmm. so, so we don't want to repeat that. Rich Hospital, the Accra Greater Region Hospital, and I do think, Steve, that it's better than the last one. Yes. But I'm still not 100%. Still feel there's one maybe clinic or hospital that should be, that can be better. I feel like they're a little bit reluctant with giving morphine, mm -hmm. and how I heard it right now, they will give you painkillers, 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 and then. When you cry and scream for help, then they will give you morphine. But we know from experience that you need morphine right away. Because um, I'm addicted. Not because you're addicted, mm -hmm. but because it, that's the only thing that helps with the pain. Yes. So uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. Next up is the? Military burpee hospital. <laughs> We're gonna do a lot of burpees. <laughs> 
military teaching hospital. If We're gonna want. put Steven in the commandos. Hmm. <laughs> Report <it> for duty. <laughs> These are all beds. All the things that are hanging are beds. All beds. If they bite you, you become Batman. If they bite me, I'll become normal. Because you are now Batman? Because now. Oh, don't tell people. <laughs> I am the Batman with a D. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, I don't really care. Because we are in the military hospital, yes. your duty for today is uh, show us where the car is. So let's you, follow Kaylee. You know, when I'm with Stephen, I turn my brain off. Oh, now, now you are telling them your secrets. Yes. <laughs> when my brain was off when we came here, I didn't know about my quest. Oh. Otherwise, I would have spread breadcrumbs. Yes, I know but the bread that you have in your in your bag. <laughs> yes. <I have> a <laughs> Because no. when Kaylee's hungry, everybody should watch out. <laughs> no, but I can find it. Yeah, I think so. I just have to go there. I have all faith in you. It looks like Kaylee knows how we are going. Hey! Hey! That's our car, look. That's the car. <laughs> I will open the door for you. For you. What happened to the kill? You did it, Kaylee. Now we are lost. We are so close. But so far. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's continue this quest. Wow, okay, Lee. So, military hospital verdict? Um, is the best one until yeah. now. Yeah. So it looked clean, looked a little bit quiet. It was not chaotic, you know, because other place that we went was a little bit chaotic, right? So yes. This one was. Okay. It was was it was good organized. One. It was organized. Organizer. Because they know duties confess. Yes. That is the military way. So now Stephen is becoming a soldier. Yes. When I'm laying there, there I would tell them burpee challenge. We have arrived at the final hospital. Yes, and here you can finally park backwards. backwards. Yay! Love it. So we're picking this one just for this reason yeah <laughs> and he came to look if i can park and Back. he just yes. left he was he impressed checked. yes he was impressed he says steve got job well done job well done you are now a military <laughs> i just turned the car off and now steven is suspicious but the otherwise i cannot hear you if i'm asking you a question we just went to the final hospital mm -hmm. What did you think? I find it okay. It's maybe the third, hey, the second. I will still choose the other one. Yeah, because of the price or? The price, but also like the cleanness. The doors were metal, you know, it was ah, not um, Crooked. Crooked. Um, mm. Everything went a little bit more organized. So you still prefer the military hospital? Yeah, and you? I don't know, maybe this one? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Because it looked a little bit more less sick, less patient. Like there yeah. were nice windows. Mm -hmm. But then compared to the other one, the prices are ridiculous. This one is 4,000 cities per day. Yeah. And the other one, maybe 200 cities per day. Yeah. And then you get, I think, the same quality. So, yeah. yeah. But we have one more, last one. Oh, one more. Yeah. And then food. I'm hungry. I come to me. Come to me. Africa and Kora. And I come with the home. The road just turned into this dirt road. And now we are now unused of a little bit of dirt road. But this doesn't seem like the road to a hospital. But our map says it is. And a car just came from here. So let's see where this road takes. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a hospital road though. I don't feel like an ambulance would go over this road. 
traffic. We have less traffic. Less traffic. <laughs> the road is getting more dirt and dirt roads as we progress. Smaller. As smaller, it gets tiny. It just gets. We cannot turn here. You know that, right? If we need to turn, there's no way to turn. And it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I don't think this is for cars anymore. This is tiny. Okay, so now we're backing it up. Back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. I like guys, this wasn't the last hospital wasn't the last one that we visited. This is gonna be the last one that we visited. The University Medical Center. Are you sure? Yes, we're gonna bring you back to school. Ik ga niet meer naar school. What did you think about the final hospital? It was uh, a very good hospital, mm -hmm. very clean. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. So, what would be your number one choice, number one pick? I think this one or the military, just because everything was good and also the price is okay. Stephen is going to attack the crab. Yes. It's alive. It's alive. Hey. Is this the Ghana way? Yes. Mm. If okay. I don't eat the crab, the crab will eat me. <laughs> so I'm just normal civilians and they are just doing the, the traffic. traffic. They just came up to us to ask yes. for a little bit of money because they arranged the traffic. The yes. uh, traffic lights don't work here. Yes. There's another one. Wow, that's nice that they do that. We have one more stop before we go home because we're going on a little travel and yes. we have to prepare to uh, the ticket where the bus stops. Yes. And so that that day that we move, we just we move. Go. We can go, 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 go. Fast, fast. But now we are on one of the busiest, most hectic places yes. in all of Accra. Everybody's honking, everybody's trying to sell something, everybody's doing their thing, screaming at each other. What's this place called? This place is called Circle. Yes. It just makes circle the whole day. <laughs> I'm so happy Stephen is driving. I could never drive here. Could never. Pick up the car. Oof, oof. Let's pick up the car. And, and walk. <laughs> Somebody just hit our mirror. Scooter. Look, our whole mirror is. Mirror it. okay? Mirror is okay. Nice. Nothing broke. I just told him, please be careful next time. But it was good that he stopped. Yeah, it was very good of him that he stopped. Yes. And uh, and he said sorry. He said sorry, so. Yeah. And nothing broke. But this place is too hectic. It's yes. too much going on. It's good for the blood. It's Keep you awake. Yes. Come to Ghana, try not to honk. <laughs> That's your only. This whole month? month and a week Stephen has only honked twice and once of them was because a goat was on the road for you yes because I didn't want him to hit the goat so if he I honked. was alone riding no you were you were I alone. had a goat no, meat for, for dinner no. this is a must for the Ghana hot weather ice cream We are home and I'm really, really, really not excited about doing Cardio Monday, but... Let's go, please. I, I cannot stop you. this energy. We have to do oh it. Oh my god, I have... I want this. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to. Uh, let's go. We just finished. It's so hot. It's so, so hot. I'm dripping. Oh, oh you can't see, but I'm dripping. Good job, Steve. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Sometimes the people that give excuses just make you work harder. Oh, an ant. Look at Steve's glow. You're glowing. Wow. Are you yeah. pregnant? My period. 
Wow, it looks like you were oiled in. You can now do a photo shoot. Baby oil. Baby oil. This is the baby assassin. <laughs> baby. So it's been a couple of days since we visited all the hospitals, but we finally made our decision. Steve, which hospital did you pick? Final decision was the University Medical Center. Woo! And why? Because um, it was familiar, um, it looked very nice, structured. Uh, it was the top of the of the five that we visit. Yeah, we haven't been there for treatment yet, so no. we don't know. We don't have any experience with that, but so far, just upon seeing it, we think it's a very good hospital. Yes. So now we have that out of the way. That means that we have all the room and all the space to talk about this topic for today, which is: What if you have a friend that cancels your appointment, your date? Just imagine you have a date with a friend, just a friend, just before the date, that date, then you get the feeling that friend is not going to show up and the day come and that person will text you, sorry, I cannot make it. And reasons could be that maybe someone is tired or maybe they are sick of, or have something else to do. Maybe they forgot something. Is there a differentiation in where you think it would be okay and where it would not be okay to cancel last minute? Like for me, maybe I'm too extreme, but if somebody is in hospital, then you cannot make it. But except from that, I don't know what the other reason can be that you cannot make it. Okay, so you say no matter how you're feeling, even if you're tired, you've had a very busy week and you feel like your mental health cannot handle it at that point. You don't think a friendship asks for a little bit of wiggle room and flexibility where you care more about the person's health than you care about the appointment that you set with them. My friends, we don't, we don't see each other a lot. You know, because everybody's busy. Everybody's busy nowadays. That's the most excuse everybody used not to go to the gym. I'm busy. Like me for training, I take training serious. My friendship is serious than my training. So my friends know that if I'm tired, I will still make it because my friends are going to hype me up to make me better. My friend is not going to take my energy. I had this. A friend needed me, but that friend didn't told me. After that we have met, he told me, Steve, I really needed this. And even though I didn't feel that day like I was my, at my best, I went. And because of that, my friend felt better. Just imagine somebody thinking like, oh, I'm going to talk to this person about this because then he can help me and then you not come. Wow. I tell you guys, like friendship, gym, don't make fun of it. It's, it's serious, you know, it's for your own health, but also for other people you do it for. So as usual, I see it a little bit more uh, in the middle of both sides. So personally, I try to never cancel an appointment last minute, especially not for the reason of being tired, because I think I can just push through. On the other hand, if somebody would cancel on me for being tired, I think I'd rather have them cancel then that I would be the reason for them to eventually end up in a burnout or something like that. So for me, then it's more important that they stay healthy. Usually I'm also okay because then my day opens up and I have free time. Usually I'm very busy. So usually I'm very tired as well. So then I can sleep and I can chill. So on one hand, I try to never cancel, but on the other hand, I don't punish it when one of my friends cancels last minute, unless it happens more times or if it's something that's really important to me, uh, and so the friend maybe doesn't even know that it's important to me, but if it's something that I've been really looking forward to, then I will feel upset. But I think that's more so on me for hyping something up in my head than that I'm really upset with them canceling. Because if we would just chill at home, just, you know, have a drink, yeah. then, then I would be okay for chilling with myself at home. On the phone is our friend and viewer, Mr. Michel. Woo! Hello, Mich. Yeah, so how are you? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. I'm on my way to work, but I do my best. Thank you for making the time. That's amazing. So the question for today is, what do you do, or has it happened to you before, that a friend has canceled last minute? It's happened to me multiple times, to be honest. Uh, how I feel? I feel a little bit angry and sad, disappointed, mm -hmm. because I, uh, but I put in my time and the person cancel and don't see the, you put the effort to see you. For me, I was too flexible with that. But since my adult life, I had to put a boundary. Now from now on, you can only do it twice. Mm -hmm. If I, if the friends are 10 years, do that to me, I will have a discussion with you. Like, hey, after this, second, two times, uh, one time, 
You have to take me to dinner. You have to make up for it. But he said, this is a person I met two months ago. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, you want to hear me? Yeah. I say, hey, uh, hey, it was nice to meet you. So it also depends on the length of the friendship and how serious the friendship yeah. is for you yeah. to be able to maybe forgive or forget. So uh, good luck with work. And uh, speak to you soon, man. So as we just heard, Michelle's tip is to not let it happen to you more than twice. And also take into consideration whether you've been with a friend for longer or maybe it's a new friend. Do you have another tip or a way that you handle it to prevent this from happening? Or if it happens, what do you do? Yeah, so if it happens the first time, I would tell you, you know, I'm straight with that. So I would just tell you straight away, please don't waste my time, you know, because people a lot of time forget that they are wasting other people's time. Because I was that person that canceled. And when I was that person, the person that I am now is totally different. I didn't value that time first. I'm going to be honest. When I tell people at that time, like, no, I cannot make it. I have better plans. Maybe I need to, to help somebody with moving their house. Some friend will call me, Steve, there's a party. Let's go. I will cancel that friend that has moved in the house because I want to party. So like what Michelle said, set boundaries. And then if that friend really values you, he or she would change. So let us know in the comments what you think about friends canceling their plans, how you would handle it, if it's a problem for you or not. And then we hope to see you in the next video because... Ambition makes you do it. Let's go.